Woods is celebrating Hispanic Heritage Month uh, with a tasty tour of traditional empanadas from uh, across uh, Latin America. Joining me, Goya Foods chef, Carrie Orio. You're going to show me how to make these uh, delicious things and yeah. we'll also taste one. So you brought a whole bunch of different kinds. Yes. We have this great phrase at Goya that is Latinos are united by our language and separated by our bean, which, <laughs> <laughs> which means that every country has its own cooking traditions, its yes. own ingredients, and the same could be said for empanadas, I which see. are hand pastries. Hand pastry, pastries. And, <laughs> and we brought a whole bunch of different types. Yes. Let's start over here. What is this one? Okay, now this is a Mexican empanada. It is baked and it's filled with a sweet, sweet. pineapple and coconut filling. Excellent. It's absolutely delicious. And the thing about Mexican empanadas is that a lot of times they're filled with different types of sweet fillings. Okay. Um, and here this we one have... here is a different color and it's yeah. slightly different shape. Yeah. Well, these are Colombian empanadas, and they're filled with a corn. Dough. They're 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 corn dough, and they're mm. filled with beef and potato. So you can see between Mexico and Colombia, it's very very different. I see. And then oh, this one over here, Richie. Look at this. This one has a nice uh, sort of grated edge. On the yeah. Side. It's called repulgue in Argentina, and it's filled with chicken and chorizo, and they're Ooh. baked. Oh man, that looks so good. <laughs> I'm going to have to eat that after. <laughs> and this one over here on the end is which which type? This is a Cuban empanada. Ah. It's filled with chorizo. Excellent. And it's fried. It is incredibly delicious. And now we're going to try something dangerous. We are going to make yes. an empanada together. Yes. Okay, what do you got, What do you have for me? <laughs> and you are going to actually help me make it, and I'll show you how easy it is. Excellent. We already have some onions yes. going in the pot with a little bit of oil. Okay. And we're going to add a half a pound of lean ground beef. Okay. This is 90% lean. 90-10. Yeah. Okay. And we're going to add it to the pot, and we just want to cook it and break it up a bit so that it gets into those nice crumbles and, and it could and brown it. And brown it. Okay. And you want to help me add the other ingredients to okay, the pot? Okay, what do you want? Okay, we have oregano here. Oregano. Sprinkle it on in. That gives oregano. a really nice flavor. Okay. A little bit of garlic. Garlic. Which okay. adds that really savory touch. You just want to do a spoonful okay. in there. Beautiful. Okay. Wow, you've done this before. I, like, I do a little <laughs> cooking at home. Awesome. Now, this is sofrito, and it's a, a classic Latino cooking base made with tomatoes, onions, How garlic. Much you want this stuff? Two full spoonfuls, two please. Two full spoonfuls. Yes, One, right on in. Two. Okay, yeah. you got it. Nice. And then you're going to add just a little bit of, about a quarter cup of the tomato quarter sauce. Cup of tomato sauce. Yeah. There we go. And then the olives. Olives with mm -hmm. the pimentos. And then sazon, which adds color and sazon. flavor. So if you were at home, you would cook this until the meats cook through. Right. I prepared the filling in advance. It's nice and cold. Okay. We're going to add a tablespoon right to the middle of the empanada. Got it. And then we are going to dip our fingers, and we're going to put it around the edges to seal it. Okay. Perfect. And then you fold it into a half moon shape. Half moon shape. Press it down on the edges with your fingers. Got it. And you take your handy fork. See, yours is actually prettier than mine. Well. <laughs> and you just press around the edges until it's completely sealed. Oh, I see. That's a lot easier than I thought. I, th this always sort of scares me. It seems like such a challenging sort of thing to, to make, but yeah. it, it's not that hard. Yeah, it, and it, it's pretty simple, and you can make a lot at once. So then we're going to add it to the oil to fry for All about right. three to five minutes until they're nice and crispy and the filling is hot. Love it. And it takes about three to five minutes. This is 350 degrees Fahrenheit. And then and it comes out like this. Yes. <laughs> Carrie, thank you so much. This is uh, lo hago por a usted. Mmm, <laughs> very tasty. Thank you so much. Thanks, thank Goya. Thank you for having me. We're gonna take a short break. We'll be right back. <laughs> That's really good. Thanks. It's TV 